Numerous platforms and resources are available for creating day trading setups. Even with Google Sheets, there are a few options, but this particular setup offers complete automation and seamlessly integrates the live feed from TradingView webhook data. It incorporates various concepts that have been previously discussed in my channel. I would recommend watching them before this. The main objective of this setup is to ensure that your data remains confidential and is not shared with any external service providers. Additionally, its secondary advantage lies in its remarkable flexibility, empowering you to enhance it to any desired level through automation, depending on your capabilities. The setup process begins by creating your own trading strategy within TradingView. Afterward, you'll set up alerts for the specific ticker you intend to monitor. These alerts will transmit data to the backend API server, which, in turn, updates the Google Sheet through scheduled data polling. The core concept highlighted in this post revolves around leveraging this data to establish a customized, automated view for your trading setup. Subsequently, you can execute trades directly from the Google Sheet to your chosen broker. This video covers everything except the final broker communication, which will be covered in the subsequent session. The video walks through these steps. Create or select a strategy as explained in the previous video. Select the ticker for tracking and create alerts with the strategy. Run the webhook receiver. Create a Google script to bring up tables in charts. Load the charts with historical data. Set the triggers for feed and action. Add the ticker for receiving the feed data. Send buy or sell based on signal. Here I already have a strategy, where I am calculating the MACD and RSI. Then, build a JSON file with those data along with price and alert info. Send the JSON through the alert. Add the chart to the view and you will be able to get all the data you need for trading. Now, I am going to add two ticker symbols for trading. Here, I am adding BTCUSD and ETHUSD. Given it's the weekend, I could not select any equity ticker here. But, it works for equity also. You can see the alerts started showing up. Now, let's start the webhook receiver, which was built already in my previous video. You can now see the data feed starting to show up. Let's now go to the Google Sheet. The goal of this automated setup is, assuming a typical day trader would start a new set of ticker symbol on a weekly or daily basis for their watchlist. They need to set up charts, watch all of them in one single view, then wait for the signal to show up and then trigger the buy or sell manually or fully automated. Here, the steps shown are for semi-automated, meaning the execution of trade is manual. First, we need a customized menu where we need to add our daily routine actions. I am adding three menu items in the on open function, which gets called every time this page is loaded. You can see those three menu items. In the setup, I am creating a table where we will add the ticker for watching, a column with some condition and a column with an action for buy or sell. Let's click the setup. You can see the table is created and column H is set up with formulas. The formula is something you can vary based on your technicals used and thresholds. I have set it to something like if MACD histogram is greater than 0.02 and RSI greater than 20, then go long. And, column J is set up with two items to buy or sell. I will soon cover how the trigger for this buy or sell is written. Now we have the table set up. We need to add the symbol. In the add symbol, we are getting the symbol as input. Process the input and create a new sheet with the symbol as name. Also, create a chart. Since we are starting fresh, we will need to pull the historical data. I am pulling the crypto data from finviz.com. For equity, I am pulling from Yahoo Finance. Let's see an action now. I am adding BTCUSD, you can see the table having the symbol. Chart is created with historical data. The data for the chart is in the new tab named with the symbol. I have not done the MACD and RSI calculation for the historical data, you can do that as well in code. I have limited the entry to just 200, you can have more if you want to calculate any other indicators requiring more than 200 data points. Let's verify the value with live trading view data. It's pretty close, but with a delay, since I pulled from the site, which has some lag. This data is just for reference, but the live data will soon be received from the trading view. Let's add another symbol ETHUSD. You can see the corresponding entries and charts are created. One more thing we need to do is to set the triggers for on edit and feed from API server. Here in this on edit, we need to identify the buy or sell selection and trigger the corresponding action. This function needs to be set as a trigger for on edit. Next we need to set up the trigger for get feed from my server. This is a time driven and set to 1 minute timer. Now, we need to wait for the live data feed. 
Okay, here it started to populate the data. And also it satisfied a long signal. Let's see in trading view, if that's right. Yes, we could see the signal was right for long. We can also see that the MACD and the RSI started to fill up. Now, we have the signal for long. Let's place an order. Change the action to buy. This will trigger the on edit. Let's give the quantity and send OK. We have an open order with the price and quantity. We also have the P and L updated. The buy order is now implemented as just updating the sheet. In the next video, I will publish the implementation to actually send the order to multiple brokers. We can also plot the indicators MACD and RSI here. It's not automated here, but this can be easily automated similar to the other price graph and can be done with just one click. I ran this data feed live for a few hours and you can see this graph being populated fully. The final step is to clear the whole sheet, so you can start over again for the next day trading. This function clears all the data, deletes the additional sheets and sets it ready for the next day. Hope this gives you a fair idea about setting up a day trading sheet with full automation. We'll provide the next update for the order execution soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you, see you in another video.